Hello everyone, welcome to Turtle Fight. Today when I surfed on TikTok, I saw this video. This is a 3D print time lapse. I wonder how can they do that. I have a 3D printer too, a Ender 3. But this is the way I record a 3D print time lapse video. How they can make a video when the extruder always stops. I found out how to do it. Some specialized cameras can do it, but the point is that it is quite expensive. So I decided to do it my way. You know that video was made from many pictures. So my idea is to make a device that can take a photo when the extruder home X. Every layer is one picture and then we have a video. So let's get started. First I need a Bluetooth camera controller. It is very cheap. I bought it for $1. When you turn it on the LED will blink. It means the device has not connected Bluetooth to any device yet. I connect my phone with this device, the LED is off. And then I can use it to take a photo when I press the button. This is a limit switch, it has three pins, but just use two pins common and normal close. When I push the lever, these two pins will be connected. And the last is a switch to turn on the device. First I tear down the camera controller. I will keep the battery and controller board. I use a multimeter to test the push button pins. For each button it has a signal pin when I count it to the ground, the phone will take a picture. I just need a button so I remove the other one. I soldered two wires to them. Then I removed the power switch and soldered two wires too. I put the battery back in the way it was, because there was no case left, I used glue. I designed and printed the case of the device. Its orange color really stands out. You can download these parts in the video description. I put all the components in the box. First is the board, next is the power switch, and finally the limit switch. I soldered the wires connecting the devices together and don't forget to put a layer of insulation. Let's make some tests. When I turn on the device and Bluetooth in my smartphone, they will automatically connect. Open the camera app and every time I press the switch the phone will take a picture. Everything works perfectly. I will install the lever on the extruder first. Remove the screw on the top extruder and add the lever. Then put it back together, when it's installed correctly, it will be able to go up and down like this. 
I removed the QR code on the X-axis motor and removed two screws. To add my device, I need two other screws. When you need to use the device, pull the lever down, otherwise pull the lever up. I use Simplify 3D to generate G-code. In the setting, you need to enable retraction. If you don't want your part like a spider's web. In scripts, chose layer change scripts. Here you can add some code when the layer change to take a picture. First, go to X0, Y140 with speed is 3000 mm per min. Then go to X10, Y140 and wait here for 0.5 seconds. OK, add files and proceed to slice layers as usual. As you can see, now the extruder will have a repeated operation every time the print layer is changed. So everything is ready. Let's make some tests. Connect the phone with the device. Put the phone in a fixed position. Make sure you have enough light. Lock your camera focus. Now I have 240 pictures with 240 layers. I added it to the video editing application. Slightly adjusted the timing and some effects. And this is the result. For me, this is a useful tool to create great videos in the future. I made great videos with just $2 device. I hope this video will be helpful. If you enjoy this video give me a like and subscribe my channel. See you in the next project.